In the last lecture, we tried to send a POST request to the server using this use HTTP hook. But there, we faced some problem. So the problem which we are facing here is, when we are trying to use this use HTTP hook to send a POST request to the server, here we are trying to pass the body for the POST request. So here, basically we are trying to read the value which the user has entered in the task input element. But when this app component function will be executed and by the time this use HTTP react hook will be called, by that time, this JSX code, this has not been executed yet. That means this input element has not been created yet. And because of that, here, this taskref.current, it is going to return undefined. And on that undefined value, we are trying to access this value property. And because of this, it is going to throw an error. And that's what we are seeing in the web page. So in the console, you can see that we have this error, cannot read property of undefined when we are trying to read this value property. And it is at line number 14 of app.js component. So if I go to VS code, here we are at line number 14. And here we are trying to read the value property on this taskref.current. And as I mentioned, by the time this code will be executed, by that time, this input element has not been created yet. So this task.current, it is going to return undefined. And on that undefined, we are trying to access the value property. So how can we resolve this problem? Well, if I scroll down again, so here we have this create button. And when we click on this create button, we are calling this create task function. So when the user enters something in this input element, when he enters the task detail, and when he clicks on this create button, by that time, we will have some value in this input element, right? So one way to solve this problem is by sending the HTTP POST request inside this create task function. So basically inside this function. But we cannot use this use HTTP hook inside this function because this is a normal function. This is neither a component function nor it is a custom React hook. And we have learned that we can only use a React hook inside a component function or inside a custom React hook. And this use HTTP is a React hook. So we can either use it directly inside the component function or inside a custom React hook. We cannot go ahead and use it inside this create task function. So what should we do now? Well, the only solution which I can think of right now is to modify this use HTTP hook. So here, instead of expecting these parameters for this use HTTP hook, we can expect these parameters for this send HTTP request function. And since we are using these parameters only inside this function, this should be fine. As you can see, these parameters, we are only using inside the body of this send HTTP request function. We are not using it outside of this function, right? So we can expect these parameters for this function itself instead of expecting it for this use HTTP hook. And now we need to modify the logic where we are calling this use HTTP hook. So now this use HTTP hook is not expecting any parameters. So wherever we are using this send get request, there we need to pass these parameters. So let me copy it from here. And we are using this send get request inside this use effect. So there let's pass these parameters, these arguments. And wherever we want to send the post request, that means wherever we are calling this send post request, there also let's copy these argument list and let's go ahead and let's pass it there. So I'm going to pass this argument list to this send post request function. And keep in mind that this send post request function is pointing to this send HTTP request function. And let me comment this send get request for now. Now here, when we are calling this send port request, there for the action parameter, we are passing this create task function. And we are also calling this send post request inside this create task function. So here it will create an infinite loop. So instead of passing this create task function, let's pass another function here and let's simply call it on create task. You can name it anything, but I'll simply call it on create task. And let's go ahead and let's create this function. So here, let's go ahead and let's create this on create task function. And this function is going to receive the response data. So let's call it data. And inside this function, I don't want to do anything. So here I will simply put a comment, do nothing. Because since we are sending a post request with the response data, we don't want to do anything. 
when we are sending the get request in that case with the response data we want to display it in the web page because in that case with the response data we are getting all the tasks from the server but here in case of post request we are creating a new task in the database so let's do one thing let's see what we are getting in the response data so here this data is going to contain a promise and when that promise is resolved we are going to handle it using this then method to this then method let's pass a callback function and this callback function is going to receive the actual response data so let's call it maybe d and let's go ahead and let's log that d that data that response data and now this create task is not going to receive any data and keep in mind that this create task function will be called when this create button will be clicked because we are calling this create task function we are using this create task function as the click event handler with this let's save the changes let's go to the web page let me refresh the page and you will see that we don't have any error for now let's go ahead and let's create a new task let's click on this create button and you can see in the response we are getting the id of the task which has been created in the database so with this id this new task will be created in the database if i go to the database you can see with that id a new task has been created and we are receiving that id in the response so this is what usually happens when you send a post request when you send a post request to the server in the response you get the id of the item which has been created in the database server and we don't want to do anything with that id so that's why in this function i do not want it to do anything with the response which we are getting inside this data parameter anyway so now we are able to send a post request to the server if i go ahead and if i refresh the page we should see this new task in the web page and as i showed you it has also been created in the database server if i reload the page now we should see two tasks here in the web page okay so now we are properly able to send a post request to the server using our custom use http hook and we are also able to send a get request to the server to fetch all the tasks from the database server now what i also want is once the post request is sent to the server and once we have the response we also want to send the get request again to fetch all the tasks from the database server and display it in the web page automatically currently what we need to do is once we create a task we need to reload the page in order to see all the tasks in this web page but we want to fetch all the tasks from the database as soon as a new task is created in the database server let's see how we can do that so let's go to vs code and just like we have created this on create task function let's create another function let's call it on fetch tasks and let's go ahead and let's send a get request from this function so i will cut it from here and i will paste it here and from this use effect let's simply call this on fetch tasks and inside this on create task function also once we have the response from the server we want to call this on fetch task function in order to send a get request to the server to fetch all the tasks with this let's save the changes let's go to the web page let's try to create a new task let's say maybe another task and let's click on this create button so that task has been created in the server okay so you can see now we have three tasks here in this tasks collection and that has been automatically fetched from the database server so in this lecture we modified our custom use http hook in order to support post request also so now using this use http hook we are able to send a get request and a post request and now we should also be able to send a delete request so currently in order to delete the task here we are using this on delete task function from where we are sending a delete request to the server using this fetch api now here is an assignment for you i want you to send a delete request to the server to delete a task from the database server by using this use http custom hook which we have created here please try it by yourself and you can put your solution in the comment section and if you face any problems or you have any doubts then feel free to ask it in the comment section this is all from this lecture thank you for listening and have a great day